Hi, welcome to Robojax. In this video, we are going to learn about this flame module. So this is a module that when it sees the flame, as you can see, the buzzer is on and the light is on. So we will see to trigger something when it sees the flame. So let's get started. You can get the code of this project by clicking at the link at the description, or you can go directly to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So this is the flame module. We have four pins here, the digital out plus, which is connected to five volts and G means ground and an A0 that analog, analog out, it, it's actually AO, analog out, so you can connect it to any pin. And then on this side, we have infrared LED, which detects the flame. And this is a potentiometer that you can uh, change the sensitivity of this using this multi-turn potentiometer. Here we have two LEDs. This LED is for power. When you connect it to power, this will be on. And LED 2 will be on when it detects flame. The module is based on this LM393 low offset voltage uh, dual comparator. So here is the data sheet. If you need it, it can work between 2 to 36 volts and here are the other specs. So the module length is 39.3 millimeter. And the width is 15 millimeter. The depth, if you want to can include this potentiometer, so 11.8 millimeter. So let me explain the code now. Uh, we are defining pin 2 for the flame input, so we call it flame. This is just a text that we put but we, uh, as a constant and we will not change it. So you can set anything between 2 to 13 for these two values. And pin 8 is for alarm, so this will go for buzzer or also a light or relay, whatever you want to trigger with. And inside the setup from here to here, we just, this is 9600 baud to initialize this serial monitor and this is for the uh, just printing a text at the beginning and then we set flame pin which is pin 2 defined here as an input and we are say, saying that alarm is also output alarm is defined here as pin 8 this is as if we type 8 here now the loop starts from here and ends here inside the loop we first read the pin A2, uh, which is a flame pin. We say digital read and the result is stored in a variable of type integer called fire. So this will have the value when it receives the flame. Here we say if fire is equal high, high is when it, there is fire. Then if this is true, then we do this action, these two lines. The first line sets alarm of pin 8 as high. So this goes high where you see the buzzer is buzzing and the LED is on. So you can do whatever you want. You can set another pen, another code to do something when this is high. And this is printing fire, fire and here. And after that, else, if that is not true, we say else, do this, which means set alarm to low. So it, it turns off the buzzer and also we say print piece, so which is now this is printing now and then we wait for 200 milliseconds and then read it again so if you want to increase the speed reduce this number this 200 millisecond is smaller one fifth of a second so you can make it 100 or 50 it, it can read faster or you can slow it down by increasing this number to 500 600 1000 or 2000 so it can read that So now I'm uploading the code. You will see the result here. It says Robojax test and then peace, peace, peace because there is nothing. Now when I turn this flame on, you will see that this light goes on and the buzzer will turn on and this LED also will go on. And you will see also on the screen that well, it says fire. So 
so as you can see if I go a little further even here it detects it but if it's in front of it for far away it, it works now I am around 38 centimeter away from from this point to there so let's see if it can detect the flame yes so up to here and then immediately at a 12 inch it works but remember we can also increase and decrease the sensitivity so you might be able to get it further if you need it now I have added this line this is connected to analog read analog a0 as you can see as you can see here this pen the last pen is connected to a0 so now we are reading it so this just reads it so pay attention here I'm just activating it so so it's now printing 54 or 53 or 58 so if I get it closer it gets smaller if I get further away it, it increases 300 or so so amount of flame also the amount and the distance changes the analog so if you want to read that and utilize through analog you can do that is for experimental purpose so you can learn but you cannot use this in an actual industrial application or a production line because this is an infrared receiver so now I'm going to use a TV remote control and you can see when I use when I use a remote control it can send a signal and give you a false so keep in mind that it can be triggered with the remote control but not continuously but for the flame it works very well it should be in line of sight as soon as it's out of line of sight so this was introduction to the flame module thank you for watching please thumb up the video please share it and also if you subscribe i appreciate it